Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to our FIFA video. Now, to be fair, in the last video, we hit quite a few thousand views. I think it was like 7,000 views in the end. And obviously the feedback was quite good. So I thought, you know what? Why not make another video on it? Hopefully we can kind of get into the FIFA scene because that's what I really want to go into. I'm going to be starting a series with my champions or like the foot champions, whatever I call it, because I literally just qualified. So I thought, why not? My team's all right. It's quite interesting. It's like an average player seeing foot champions, seeing the rewards they get, seeing what they do overall. And to be fair, could be quite interesting seeing what we do. But apart from that today, we're just going to carry on the trading, see how it goes, maybe do another squad builder soon, something like that. I'll help out with the actual kind of squad builds and challenges. So if you like all that stuff, then make sure to tell me down below if you want to hear about squad builder challenges, and I will do that. But apart from that, if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications, and yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So guys, to start off today, we are going to be literally doing some sniping and that kind of thing. I'll be going around it and how to do it fully. Now, the best way to be able to do this sniping is by using Footbin. Footbin is a great website. I use it all the times when I'm buying my players to work out how much I'm going to have to spend and, you know, just all that stuff which everyone gets confused about. But really, Footbin's easy. Any player you want, you can literally search up and they'll show you the cheapest price for that player. We're going to be covering five players today and these five players I often see are quite sniped a lot and to be fair, that's why I'm going to be going over them, making them easy to do. And the first player we're going to be starting off is Gomez. This is going to be Joe Gomez from Liverpool. See, right now, as we can see at the start of this video, he's going for 2,200. It may differ when I do the editing, but it's around that 2k mark. So all I really want to do now is work out the 5% EA tax that would be on it. So if I bought him for like 2k, if I obviously took away like 5% and, you know, all that stuff, how much I would make, or like 2,200, we know we'd be losing money. However, what we want to do is go around to his like 1,800, 700 mark and literally type him in because obviously typing his name in would be very handy. And all we want to do is by using this actual tip or method to be able to snipe him. So you want to go over to your minimum price or your max price, sorry, and you want to make it max at 15,000. Search and what should happen is you want to go from 15,000, search again, just keep going back and forward and snipe him. This is a really, really good method. Keep doing it. Obviously, come back and forward. Maybe change the gold and all that stuff to see what he's doing. Or if you really want to obviously pay a bit more so you make less of an actual profit margin, then you can do that. But still, just keep going up and down. And eventually, what should happen is someone on the market will go in for him. Or we can literally just, you know, let's just reset this. We don't want a max price. You can literally just do it this way by going up and down, take away that minimum price, going up to that 2K mark. Seeing we got 1,900. Thank you very much. Oh, we didn't get him. But still, you can see what I mean. We would 300 coins on that, we sold it for about 2,000 and all we can do is just keep going up and down but really I would say no more than 1,900 so 1,800 unfortunately we get him, you've got to be very very quick on this and I recommend having a break in between doing this a bit because obviously EA can catch on for you sniping and you don't want that at all because again if they catch on to you sniping you will get a permanent ban but still it's annoying with the buttons because you can hear yourself spamming, you can probably hear it through the mic right now but still overall you find some players, there you go 1,800 and we didn't get him. The other one, did we get him? No, unfortunately didn't. Again, it's very hard to get him, but still you'll be making that kind of profit margin of about 300 coins. So again, it's not the best, but it's still pretty good. See, that one was 1,600. I could have made nearly 1,000 back on that. And this is the one that plays that is cheaper option. So if you haven't got that many coins, this is a great way to do it. However, I recommend practicing your sniping techniques and obviously making sure you're very quick on it. Now that's the first player. The second player is going to be Sissoko from Tottenham. Now, to be fair, Sissoko from Tottenham is a very expensive player for an 81 rated player. This is obviously purely because of his stats, however, he's going for 34 and a half grand. If I packed him, I didn't know play for you for that long, and I saw an 81 rated, and I kind of roughly knew, obviously, the higher rated, the more they obviously go for, I would put him up for about the 20k mark. So that's what I'm going to do. Go around maybe to the 25, 30k. However, this could be the problem here, because of EA tax, this is what could mess you up. EA tax is 5%, so whatever you sell them for, they take away 5% of those coins, and to be fair, work out the 5%, obviously, the profit, and even if you get it for around that 30, 29k mark, then again, is really solid, so around that kind of 30k mark is perfect, and that is what I'd recommend doing, because that's going to be the kind of like margin I'll be going for, so I make a few thousand coins per one. However, I'd recommend going to Joe Gomez, build up with Joe Gomez, and then eventually get into him, obviously, because he's an expensive player, you get him for cheap, you would make a really good profit on him completely. However, like I said, because he's such a popular player, everyone wants him, he may be very hard to snipe, and obviously get him for that kind of nice price as well. However, the next player is going to be Schluss or Schloss. I don't know really how to pronounce his name. It's weird, but he's from Borussia Dortmund. He's a very good player, and he goes for around that 11k mark. So really, he's one again, one of his players. He's 82 rated at a left wing back. People don't really know about him, but know about him, if you can't get what I mean. He's one of those players that are like iffy. I have him in my team. He's a great player, but you've got to be careful. So 
I'd say maybe go around the 9, 8k mark. But we know, as we can see on actually kind of footbin, his minimum price is 1,300. So we're going to go around this kind of bit here, go back again. Again, he's a nice actual kind of price player. So, say for instance, you get about 10 Gomez's and a profit, you can start build your way up to him, and eventually you'll have a Schluss. If you get him for cheap, make some coins of him, sell him for a bit more, and that's the best part about him. Especially with kind of these like Bundesliga kind of SPCs, like the player of the months, you can use them for that, or you can literally just invest and wait for that to come out, and then eventually obviously build it up, and then from there, what you can do is just sell him for a very, very high price because people will need an MCB, people will need him in the SPC, and you'll just go up in price because in demand, that is how business works. That's the third player. The fourth player is another player, which again is a very, very OP player and low rated. You kind of see this kind of trend of low rated players. That's just because they're very OP. And it's Adresa Gay from PSG. I don't know his actual price, so let's go and check it out on Footbin. If we go into Footbin, how much does he go for? He goes for 4,000 coins. I have in my team. Again, this is another player, so I'm going to go around to that. Maybe 3k mark, 3,100. See what we've got. Keep going back and forward, and that's just the sniping technique you want to do. Very, very OP, and to be fair, that's what I'm going to keep on doing. Hopefully trying to get one. I'm not going to show me sniping, because again, this can be a long method. However, I've got other things to do, and obviously other videos to record, but I'm just giving you the basic stuff on what to do, and just making sure you use that 5% EA tax profit margin to understand where you are, so you do not lose any money at all. So guys, that's one. And then the last player, so I've given you five players today. You can literally find these players by yourself just by like checking out obviously what players are good. It's going to be Ferdinand Mendy from Real Madrid. He literally goes for 36k. His minimum price is 2100. And when you see his card, it's not the best card. However, because it's 80 rated, it's going to be a perfect one to use. So again, we just search in Mendy. We've gone on to Footbin. We've seen his actual minimum. So we go Ferland Mendy. We're going to go perhaps to, let's go about the 30k mark again. Like I said, the EA takes. Make sure you stay into that. See what they got. Again, there's no players there. Maybe just go a bit higher. You know, just keep going back and forward. Testing out, and that is pretty much it. But again, that's another player that's expensive. But after you, after you build it with coins, you could probably get him for a cheap bargain because, again, a lot of people will be actually kind of selling him from packs because they think he's cheap. But apart from that, guys, that is going to be the video. I hope you take those five players on board. I've got some SBC actual ways to be able to finish them by making coins from SBCs because they're really handy. So if you want that video, leave a like. Tell me down in the comment section anything else I should do. But apart from that, hopefully this gets some nice feedback like it did in the last video. And yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, turn notifications. Until next time, see ya.